What is good? It is your boy Pablo Gray, and we are back with another reaction video. And as you can see, man, I took a step away from YouTube for quite some time. Um, partially, I need a break. It's good to have breaks. I've taken a break before. Want to take another one? But um, yeah, I'm just back. I'm back with it. So here we are. Here we are. Um, if you don't know what's going on. The Derek Chauvin case is happening in Minneapolis. It's the guy who allegedly killed uh, George Floyd. And the only reason I say allegedly is because in the conspiracy community, there is a theory out there that George Floyd might not have actually been murdered. And um, what actually happened was a, uh, what is that shit called? Um, when they basically fake a crisis. When they, a false flag, right? A false flag attack. Fake a crisis for some type of political gain or uprising or some type of um, bullshit, right? That, that's that belief in the community. So I'm saying allegedly. And also because the man hasn't been convicted. But um, yeah, it's, it's a six minute video. Obviously, we're probably not going to get that far into it. So it is what it is. But um, before we get into it, man, y'all like what I've been doing here. What you've been watching lately. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to uh, make your way over to the Pablo Gray health and fitness page while you're at it. Learn some shit. But um, let's do it. In today's testimony in the murder trial of Derek Chauvin, we heard the Minneapolis Police Department's longest serving officer explain why Chauvin should have never been kneeling on George Floyd's neck. Chauvin is facing charges of second and third degree murder as well as second degree manslaughter. If convicted on the most severe charge, he faces a maximum penalty of up to 40 years in prison. Lieutenant Richard Zimmerman, who has been on the force since 1985, said he... I gotta say this, man. If this man get convicted for all them for 40 fucking years, it's gonna change history as we know it, man. It's going to change history as we fucking know it. And the reason and why is because more officers are going to start serving time for fucking up on the job. The United States has a history of, of allowing their men in uniform to do whatever the fuck they want simply because they can enforce the law. Because they believe they can enforce it, they can um, become the law. And when they do that, they become fucking vigilantes and think they're helping society when they're really fucking up and taking somebody's life while ruining others in the process. But, um, yeah, I really hope he does get convicted, whether this is a false flag attack or not. This is going to change America as we fucking know it. But back to the video thought officers had no reason to fear for their lives when Floyd was handcuffed on the ground last summer. Here's his view of the videos of the arrest. What is your, uh, you know, your view of that use of force? And these niggas got the nerve to have a man named Zimmerman on the motherfucking police board, police department. He ain't have no choice but to be with the people. His, his answer should be be swayed by the people. Because with that last name, bro, you ain't got no room to be fucking up. I mean, what am I saying? We ain't do shit to the last Zimmerman that was in the fucking news. Force during that time period. Totally unnecessary. What do you mean? Um, well, first of all, um, pulling him down to the ground face down and putting your knee on a neck for that amount of uh, that amount of time it's just um, uncalled for um, it, I saw no reason why the officers felt they were in danger if that's what they felt in your opinion should that I could tell you why the officer might have thought he was in danger dude was black <laughs> I know y'all think this shit is like stereotypical, funny, the shit might not ever happens. But you got to understand how often it actually does. And based off my experience. Not saying I haven't dealt with good cops because they are out there. But the bad ones 
They pull their gun out just because they feel threatened walking upon your car. They ain't even look at you yet. They, they looked at you before they pulled you over and felt threatened already. That's just the everyday for these cops. They feel threatened by the simple presence of a black individual or an individual they just don't know. We got to change that. Got to change that. Back to the video. Restraint have stopped once he was handcuffed and prone on the ground. Absolutely. All right, Minneapolis filmmaker and community activist D.A. Bullock joins me now. He works with the police abolition group Reclaim the Block. D.A., thank you so much for joining us, first and foremost. Um, could you explain for us the work that Reclaim the Block does and how you've seen things progress over the past year? Sure. Our work is dedicated to, you know, allocating our public safety resources to multiple forms of public safety um, and not having all of that money dedicated to the police uh, solely. And we're, we're about out reallocating resources. I must say this. What he sound like, what he's saying sounds really good. Only thing I'm not sure about, which he didn't explain yet is what other forms of this public safety is he speaking on? Because me, I'm a man who fucks with plans. Don't say the system is fucked up and you don't have a way to change the fucking system. If you ain't thought of a reason or a, a way to, to make it better or anything, like, bro, what's the fucking point of complaining? If you're not trying to do anything, if you're not actively trying to change whatever the fuck you're complaining about, if you don't have a game plan, then shut the fuck up. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to sit here and complain about some shitty ass shoes I got if I didn't plan on buying some better ones. Like, it'd be like the motherfuckers that complain about their job knowing damn well they're not doing nothing. Nothing else to get a better job, to get a different job. To better themselves at the job they're already at. To move up. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. So I'm hoping the man has a game plan. He's explaining on what the fuck they're doing. As far as other forms of safety. So let's find out. To, to places where uh, we do actual prevention. Intervention on, on violence. Um, mental health services that don't require an armed... Uh, individual to show up so we're all about you know the reallocation of resources and putting them in the right place in, in other terms defunding the police uh, which we've all learned um over the past year and has been tossed around so much and um i like what he's saying i really do um i, I get if that's what you want to call a form of defunding the police sure i just don't the money that's already dedicated to public safety as far as police departments and I'm guessing the same budget would go into like maybe ambulance or um, the firefighters. But uh, I don't think the money, that money should increase. So I guess I guess it makes sense. I, I, I guess it kind of makes sense if you're going to just defund the police, not necessarily the public safety budget. Because that includes that too, fires and I'm pretty sure in ambulance services too. But um, if you're if you're going to allocate those funds to something else that is also going to benefit the safety of the public, such as these intervention services they're offering, um, and not having an armed individual, people think that like that's minuscule, but you don't understand how scared people are of people in uniform with a gun. Um, not to get into anybody's business, but a lady I work with was telling me about how, um, one of the children, her daughter fostered has an incredible fear. This girl is no, I think she's like maybe four years old, has an, in no, nine year old, nine year old, I'm sorry, has a crazy fear of police. And that's because every time she's seen a police in her life, something crazy is going down. And 
the girl is scared to fucking death. And it just so happened the day she got to her foster home, police were there because of an incident that happened that was non-related to them. And the girl freaked the fuck out. It's really sad, actually. But again, like that is very beneficial. Um, I hope based off this, other places can use this as an example, use it, apply it, and even work on, on top of this to improve whatever they already have in place. Um, it's probably the end of the fucking video. Uh, I don't know what else to say, man. Uh, I guess let me talk about some other shit while I'm on here. I got more videos after this that I'm going to be doing. You'll see them. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to get more active on Instagram. I'm, I'm trying to get more active on everything. I got to get back to my, my studying, my, um, uh, definitely got to get back to meditating. I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. I ain't meditating in some time, man. Get back to my studying, get back to my meditation, self-improvement. I've been as far as physically i've been i've been on that mentally i've been i've been staying stagnant i ain't been going down i ain't necessarily been moving up but i've been staying stagnant just to stay afloat and i gotta improve on that i will improve on that i am improving on that um what else i'm gonna be posting more on the fitness channel i'm gonna start doing workouts and shit like that um, cause I don't really be in the gym and I know a lot of people can't really get into the gym right now. I mean, the pandemic shit is almost over. People, they, they letting the lockdown shit go. Uh, shit is opening up. So people are getting in the gym, but for people who don't want to go to the gym, who don't want to pay that type of money, I'm gonna have shit for y'all. So y'all get the full body experience so y'all can stay fit like a motherfucker without having to pay somebody's gym fees. But it is going to cost you probably like... No more than a hundred dollars. That's just with bands. But anything. Anyway, that's just what I got planned for the future. My intent is I just want to put that out in the air, say it out loud. Y'all hearing it, hold me accountable to it. But um Yeah, this is the point, the part in the video where I say, you like what I'm doing here, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Again, go to my other channel. Learn some fitness. Learn something about your body and supplements and all that other shit. Thank you. Peace.